Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us to the opening of the 24-hour photography project, the Hong Kong edition 2022 and the international 10 years anniversary edition. So very warm welcome, I'm Armut Meyer Zolic and uh, we are really honored as a good institute to be able to support and to host this wonderful project. You see here the works of 99 international and Hong Kong based photographers uh, who have participated in the 24 hours project plus over 100 um, uh, images that are projected in our black box so don't miss the black box and a video about the making of and greetings from ambassadors and participating photographers from around the world. The 24-hour project is unique because it has, has been combining photography, art and social engagement for about 10 years. Every year, on a specific date, photographers, professionals and dedicated amateurs come together to document people and their stories in their city over 24 hours. This year it was on 10th of September. In this way, a kaleidoscope of human condition is created around the globe. Work and leisure, life, life love and care, laughter and contemplation, all this and much more is the color, are the colors of this kaleidoscope across all cultures. This year, almost 4,000 photographers have participated from 915 cities around the world. I think this is really wonderful. The NGO 24-hour project is based in New York. They coordinate everything and they nominate the international jury that selects the pictures for the inter uh, exhibitions, including this one here in Hong Kong. Nowadays, there are uh, many, many um, local groups in hundreds of cities uh, in the world who organize um, the uh, activities uh, on the relevant date of the year. I will introduce you in a while uh, to the Hong Kong ambassadors who are so dedicated and who have organized this event. Uh, in, uh, in the previous years, including this year. And later we will also have a Zoom talk with the coordinator Renzo Grande in New York. He's already waiting for us in our library via Zoom. And we will have a short talk with him about the project. All photographers who are participating in this project are united in their wish to make a difference in our society. Everyone pays the participation fee and donates their pictures so that you, the audience, can buy them. Every year the proceeds go to uh, specific NGOs, to social organizations, grassroots organizations. This year it is Yon Ton Te in uh, Mexico, an NGO that is advocating ecological and social transformation to take action against climate change. So, how did the 24-hour project come to Hong Kong? We have to thank Marissa reyes Beckman for this. <laughs> Marissa participated solo in 2016 and then in 2017 she founded the local group as an ambassador and is now joined by P.H. Young and Anne Kiesel uh, as well very active co-organizers and co-ambassadors. Last but not least, and before uh, giving the microphone to Marisa and to the team, I would like to thank someone without whom this wonder, these wonderful pictures would never have been, have been presented in such an impressive way. And that is our curator, Dr. Harald Kremer. Uh, he's a and curator uh, at the Museum and Gallery of the Hong Kong University. So thank you very much, Harald, for yes, donating all your expertise to this project and uh, 
um, having developed this uh, curatorial design of the exhibition. Uh, later you will share a little bit uh, your thoughts as a curator um, about uh, the works we see here. Before I hand over the microphone um, to the ambassador team, uh, please give a big round of applause to all those who have made this exhibition possible. Uh, first and foremost, of course, all the photographers and the organizers. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And now, please, uh, Marissa, Anna, PH, come here and um, share a little bit about your experiences with this project. Marissa, would you like to start? Yes, please, come here. Thank you. Come all together. Yes, yes. 